God's grace, by reason of what we have read, is consistently uh, moving towards everyone. He said, it has appeared to all. All, all. It's moving towards everyone, but not everyone reap its benefit. Not everyone. Not everyone. Because the key, the access way, the entrance into God's grace is faith in Jesus Christ and his finished work. There is no other way, my friend. Buddha won't take you in to the grace of God. Muhammad will not take you into the grace of God. The only access, we just read it. Romans chapter 4 verse 16 is faith in the finished work of Jesus Christ. Romans chapter 5 verses 1 to 2 even goes further to say this. Therefore, having been justified by faith. So, to be justified, it takes faith. Without faith, you cannot see yourself as the righteousness of God. Because you can't hang your righteousness. It doesn't matter if you don't drink, smoke, and do everything, commit adultery or whatever you never stole in your life. You are still having the root of sin. So you are still a child of Satan. We were born sinners before we committed the first act of sin. Hallelujah. So we have been, not we are going to be. In the day you receive Jesus, you were declared righteous, justified. Uh, discharged and acquitted by faith. We have peace with God. Now that you have been justified, you have peace, not good, not peace among men, but between you and God, there is nothing left that Jesus did not say to. God is not angry with you. God is not bitter towards you. Now, in Genesis chapter, uh, chapter, chapter 6, verse 5, the Bible spoke about God being grieved because of the evilness of man's heart. And the Bible said it repented God that he had made man. So he, he, he set out to destroy man. But that has been taken care of. That was taken care of in Christ Jesus. You have peace. I have peace. I am not afraid of God. I, I don't have fright of him. The issue, the enmity has been taken care of. I am a child of God. I am the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. He is my father, my personal father. He's not just our father. Yes, he is. But he's my father. He's my daddy. Abba, father. Daddy, daddy. I call him daddy. And he's all, I am the object of his attention. Just like you. Hallelujah. Because many of us, we think God has for, forgotten us. That when he gets done with the other people, if he ever gets done, then he will come and attend to the issues of my life. No. No. You have the same standing with God as Jesus has. The same attention he will give to Jesus is what he has devoted to you. Oh, pastor, you mean God can attend to all of us at the same time? Yes, that's why it's God. And he can hear you and attend to you at the same time. In fact, Jesus praying in John 17, 23. He said, Father, let them know that you love them as much as you loved me. So God did not love Jesus more than you. That's grace. That's grace. He loves me and Jesus the same. That's why we can be joined here with Christ. I know this may sound too, too big for, your, for some religious mind. But it is Bible. It's the New Testament. And we have to receive it, believe it, and walk in it. For us to maximize and enjoy the profitability of our Christianity. We are not only saved by grace. Yes, we were saved by grace. We were not only saved by grace. Your relationship with God will also be maintained by grace. Because under the law, the moment you miss a mark, then judgment follows. 
But under the New Testament, the testament of grace, you miss a mark. Jesus already covered it. Hallelujah. 